Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we're going to be working on the little strawberry, the little bowl of strawberry flowers and blooms and stuff. And we're right here on these leaves right here and we'll just work our way through if I can hang on to the needle long enough. Gee, Manetli. Well, it's been an interesting 24 hours, let me tell you. I had to work yesterday until 9, and of course we've been threatened with like 12 inches of snow, All, you know, since Saturday, you know, they said it was going to be bad, and then finally we got the winter storm watch. Get down, please. Get down. <sighs> yeah. It's been interesting. So it didn't do more than just a little bit of flurries here and there. No big deal. Um, like from 2 until about 7. And then it started kind of snowing real fine-like and blowing just a little bit. I mean, the wind wasn't too terribly bad. But point was, it went from 27 degrees when I got there to about three with a chill factor of like minus 11 by the time I left and I had to brush off my car twice then I had to drive I'll say maybe five minutes into town usually uh, to uh, go to the grocery store and pick up some milk and a couple things because you know if it got worse you know I didn't want to have to come out today so I did all that and finally got home. I didn't feel like doing nothing when I got home. I had gotten out. Uh, I had made uh, chicken, chicken and mushroom wild rice soup. And uh, oh God, it's been about a month ago. But I put you know the rest of it in the freezer because I always make a big batch. And uh, had that for dinner, and it warmed me right up. And then it was kind of snowing in earnest. Didn't think anything about it. I went to bed about 12.30. I got up this morning and we had like between 6 and 8 inches of snow. Oh yeah. Are we having fun yet? So before I got on here to uh, do a video, I went out and brushed off all that off my car so I wouldn't have to do it at the last minute you know right before I go to work so yeah I got that part done but it's still kind of lightly snowing and it's supposed to continue snowing off and on all today and through I think it said 11 o'clock in the morning tomorrow so I have no place else to go so I'm just I gotta go to work at 2 today 2 to 9 so we'll get that done and we're supposed to get an order in so I don't know if he'll show up or not depending you know I don't know what the major roads are like and that kind of thing so yeah we'll see see if he shows up at all so who knows day could get even more interesting but yeah, it was bad and cold as cold. I just hate it when it gets to those below freezing, below zero temperatures, I should say. And on top of all that, we're supposed to somewhere have 45 mile an hour wind. So I don't know where that's going to happen. But, you know, so far the wind has not been bad. It's just, you know, like a, maybe a slight breeze out there under 10 mile an hour I guess but other than that I put a picture in the beginning so you could see the snow all stacked up on the bird feeder so I brushed all that off brushed off the stairs get up there so yeah it's been real absolutely real We're having fun now. My daughter took my grand uh, kids to school. 
this morning, and she said it was like an ice skating rink. Don't go, Mom, if you don't have to. You know, I kind of take her word for it. She's got four-wheel drive, and she was freaking out. So, because there has been ice underneath all that, because the roads were pretty clear until about, oh, well, maybe 7.30-ish, you know, it started collecting on the roads, and of course the plows are out, you know, we, we have really good snow plows, but there's a mountain pass between here and Denver, and I guess it was just really bad up there, so, because that's where the wind blows through, it's kind of a flat area. Yeah, it's been great. So, I don't envy anybody that has to go anywhere too far today. But, you know, they'll come. Because they all got to go skiing. It's like, seriously, folks? Hello. No. Because I don't know. There's You go here. You get here. And then you go 45 minutes. I'll call it south, maybe. And, uh, then you have to go over another mountain pass to get up to Crested Butte. So, yeah. And that's where they, they go to ski at, on this, top of this mountain pass, there's a ski resort. And then at Crested Butte, there's a, a ski resort. But most people go there. I don't know why I'm not a skier, so I wouldn't know one from the other. I might know if I've arrived at those places, but I'm not skiing. Not not this body. So, I got no desire. I didn't have a desire before, so, yeah. I don't like to fall down. It hurts bad enough when I do it and not on purpose, you know, to go skiing. But that's just me. I don't partake in many outdoor activities, even if I do live in Colorado. Even my kids stop skiing. You know, Mom, it hurts when you fall down. I'm like, yeah, you know. Yeah, you'll pay for that later. When you get older. So, they don't even go skiing. They like to go sledding or snowmobiling or something like that. But I don't even want to get out in the cold, you know, any more than I have to. Let's just go to work and forget it. So, yeah. It's fun times. So I didn't work on, I worked a little bit on that uh, pink blossoms and the sparrows yesterday, or last night I should say, when I got home. I had to have something to calm my nerves. Driving into town was kind of tense last night, but the roads weren't slick, and I was, I said, told my daughter, I only passed maybe three people on the road, five tops, but they were passing me, not driving in front of me, or or behind me, so there wasn't too many out on the road. But I got there and back, and now I'm done. So I try to make sure I got stuff to go with stuff. If I get ah, crap, if I get things out of the the freezer, so to speak. So I had to go get a couple more cans of uh, beans because I'll get out my. Oh, what do you call it? Well, I have ham and beans, and I also have some red chili. So if I decide to have chili, I finally got some premium crackers. They don't taste like they used to. I'm just in unenamored with them all the way around. So, yeah. I try to have it already. So all i got to do is heat it up. But... We had some nice warm soup last night, and that was plenty good. Because I was cold, but I wasn't freezing, you know, like I thought I would be. Because in the back of my brain, I'm thinking 45 mile an hour winds. Well, yeah. That never happened. I didn't see any of that. There wasn't any gusts. Because we can get gusts around here. Like I told you in the last video, but not last night, so it was fine. I got where I needed to go. <sighs> but, yeah, glad that's over with. I only have to go two blocks to work, so. And I can take the back way and not have to cross traffic. Just get out there and.
go up another two blocks and we're good. Sure, that weird colored green. Kind of like a dark seafoam green, if you will. I don't know how to explain it. But I thought, why not? And this is a nice small one. It's not very big. It's probably, the whole thing is, eh, almost 14 by 14. And the actual picture is 11 and a half by 11, a little over 11 and a half. So not too big. Not too big. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, it was so bad, Molly. She didn't want to go out there this morning. It was, it felt like minus 20 earlier. Not when I went and brushed off the car. Because I was in no way cold, so. But I do hate having to brush my car off before I can go to work. So, yeah. Not fun. Not fun. And as you can see, there was... About eight inches of snow, six to eight inches of snow on top of the bird feeder. So I got that all ready for them. They, I can always tell by the birds. If they start hitting that feeder, it's going to snow or storm or do something. Now, I haven't had it in the summertime, you know, when it's going to rain or anything like that. But, yeah. In the summertime, I usually use the soot cakes. Because I can't hang that thing. Because, like I said, we get some pretty good wind around here. And I'm just afraid it'll just shatter it. Of course, they'll all be in the yard looking for that seed that fell. But, huh. I'm really over winter, so I wanted to see something different. Yeah. So, that's why I picked the strawberry basket. Or bowl. I think it's a bowl, not a basket. Thank goodness. There'll be no backstitching. And I got this from uh, Paint Some Way. What was it, two weeks ago? Somewhere, not last week, but the week before, yeah. So. And it's nice and easy. It's a partial. You don't have to worry about it too much. I do like that fact. Well, my daughter has to go back on the 6th of March and have some injections put in her back. And they're going to wait three weeks and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then they may have to do surgery. So, it'll be interesting. I'm just going to end this thread. I feel like doing the hopping thing. It's just as easy. So what's going on in your world, people? Anything exciting? Get down, please. We just did this. Get down. I know. There's nobody out there, really. You can't even see the cats. There's no cats crawling around today. I come around the corner, you know, coming home last night, and this rabbit darted across from the, the field and down into the mobile home park, and I was like, please go, please go, please go. I never saw him again, but I didn't run over him. He went ahead of me somewhere and got someplace. But that's the first time I'd seen a rabbit in a while. But dang, it was not fit for man or beast last night. Just cold. Hey, cold. But I had me some nice warm soup. I got out two bags of it so I'd have enough for tonight or last night and tonight. So, that was good. And if I'd been thinking, I'd have gotten me some crusty bread, but, eh, I can live without it. I got have bread and butter with it if I wanted to, but I was just more about the heat part of it. So, yeah. And it's nice and warm in here. And thank goodness we don't have to go anywhere. Come on, seriously? Serialistly.
so I think I'll just stay in and stitch and do pretty much nothing for the next four days. My grandson, who's 11, they were supposed to have a uh, ski trip yesterday, and they canceled that. So sometimes they may, you know, like, uh, what are you doing? Get down. Get down. Now she's trying to get the blanket off the back. She is not cold. I don't know. She likes to mess with that blanket. I got that blanket at the thrift store. I thought it was pretty, and it fits across the back of my blue couch, so it worked. But anyway, usually they uh, reschedule the the ski thing if they can. But I guess the roads were just absolutely horrible. I didn't hear about them closing anything, you know. Nothing like that. But it can get icy and windy, so we'll see. I got no plans this week at all. Nothing too terrible, horrible. I think we got all the red in that area. They were just kind of helter skelter there. I think I need a new piece of thread. We're getting there, folks. Kind of wanted to work on that pink part. So that I, because the pink and the orange look so close together. I don't know if you can see that right there. That it's really hard to, to see just what is going on. And yes, I'm wearing my thimble today because I have jammed that in there. And that's all sore, so I'm not taking that chance again. It hurts. I can still stitch though. I'm good. Nothing on Netflix that I've been watching. I tried to watch that one called The Gift, but eh, I don't know. I'm not too enamored. It's just taking too long. They could have made that into a three hour special. Just too much crap. And drama going on. You know, I think I dumped that one. It's like, next. So I'll just put some music on and just stitch. Have some peace and quiet. But I am just ready for it to be spring and not be so crappy out. I'm sick of the cold more so than anything. Because we have certainly not had a lot of snow to contend with. This is the first time it snowed this big this year. So. Oh, do come on. Get in there. I did a little bit of my diamond painting yesterday in the morning because I had nothing else better to do. But that was about it. And a lot of green leaves here. Like the majority of everything. I couldn't even figure out where the strawberries started, so I couldn't work on them. But I will. We'll get there. I just get impatient. When I'm stitching on one color, I want to be stitching on another, so it's just what I live with. And I always think it's going to go much faster than it does, and it doesn't. 
cross stitch has taught me anything, it's patience. It'll get there, one stitch at a time. Just enjoy the journey. It's a nice thick thread. I'm trying to figure out if that's orange or red there. Put that there. Got orange and pink and red all in the same area. This one's nice and easy to stitch on. It's not too confetti. It only has 15 colors, so how hard can it be? It's not bad at all. I'm going to see if I can find any more 35 by 35s that I like. Because this is a nice little... This is a good size for summer because it doesn't completely engulf your lap. Not that I don't like working on the big ones, but I save them for when I'm starting to freeze to death from the air conditioning being on. And then I can put them over my legs, see, and it won't be cold. Yeah, that's how that works. I know. Insanity. But if I'm outside and doing a video, it can get pretty hot. And I'm ready to go down by the river and watch the water. I haven't been down there since it got to be winter. Just not happening. I think that's pink. Let's get out of there. I have to it off again. Looking to see if the phone was okay. Talking to my daughter this morning, it was about down to 8%. So, I let it charge up. Do you like to do large or do you like to do smaller projects? What What's your jam? Write in the comment. Do you do both? Do you just do one or the other? Do you do 11 or do you do 14 count? Or do you do counted? And you don't do pre-stamped, you know? I didn't even dare look at anybody's, what do you call it, market review, because I knew that would just open up a whole can of worms. Yeah, I can't afford to fall in love with anything this week. I do want that one from uh, Hands Across the Sea with the purple flowers, something about memories past, something maybe. Yeah. Definitely, but not right at this moment because it's going to be a big one because I'll have to do it on 16 count. I'll have to get me some more, uh, uh, you know, material from uh, 1, 2, 3. And I'll probably do it on, if I can, 
that uh, 16 count country French cafe mocha like I always do but that is sure is a beautiful one but I don't think I'll do it on even weave yeah I'm kind of losing my luster with that it's hard for me to see I don't know if I get in the jam again I can but other than that mm, no I I like 11 or 11 I like 11 count of course but uh 16 count is what I like to do count it on. 14's okay. I can do it on that, but it just makes it twice as big. But I do like the 16 count. I really like using my sulky threads, but yeah, I don't know. Just not happening this week. I don't know. I can say that and I'll change my mind and We'll do something else. So you just never know what I'm going to be into. Or what's going to start screaming in my head. That's what usually happens first. I wish it was more exciting around here, but it isn't. Passed up a a pork roast for seventeen bucks. It was God. That thing must have been. 16 inches across and about 6-8 inches thick. I could have whacked it in several pieces and put it in um, my big ginormous crock pot. So we'll see. But I just wasn't in the mood to make green chili again I usually do all that pork and then I'll put part of it away you know for pulled pork later but and then the other part I make 12 quarts of green chili but I just don't have the room for it right now I have to get it down a little bit I usually do that in the summer and put it in the crock pot and get it all done at one time and then we can make pulled pork sandwiches see because everybody's ready for pulled pork in the summer, but, man. Yep, they all have them on sale again. But that was one huge hunk of meat. I usually make my green chili in the fall, or... Like, hmm, like the first part of summer. Then I have enough for summertime, and I have until later on, but it takes me about six, eight months to get through green chili, depending on how much I want to eat of it. I don't know what I'd do without that huge, ginormous crock pot. I think it's a 10 quart. Isn't that the big one? Something like that. But I can cook two roasts in that puppy. And I'll do it for beef and pork. But just not right now. It's time to clean out this refrigerator freezer. It's just driving me insane. So, I'll get to that in the spring. There's stuff in there I don't even know I have. Same goes with my big freezer. Well, I call it my big freezer. It's about a 36 by 36 chest freezer. 
something like that close but there's stuff underneath there I have no idea what it is but it's a good thing I made all that soup so now I can have it when it's cold outside see that was the whole purpose of it make it once and then I freeze three quarters of it on my head so when it's cold days like this I can pull out some hot soup or chili or something like that but and I don't get too much meat ahead you know oh if I see a good deal on steaks or something and they're four bucks a piece sure I'll buy a couple of those and put them in the freezer and that way I've got them but, and I was forgot to look for I was gonna find some beef liver if I could I was talking with a friend about beef liver and got me hungry for liver and onions So, uh, to see if they even have it, they always have it froze. They don't have it fresh. Now there's a a place mm, about 45 minutes where the Walmart's at down there, and it's a we'll call it a meat store. I don't know what else to call it, but they do their own. They process their own beef. It's a little bit more spendy than uh, the grocery store but they have really good meat down there but you know I don't we don't go there very often my daughter gets groceries for an elderly man here in town they've been all been friends you know her and her husband and and that guy they've known each other ever since my daughter was like in high school but he is a uh, paraplegic and so they go do the grocery shopping and then about once a month maybe he'll want somebody to go to that meat place and get you know several things of meat so he and he's got a big chest freezer huge you know the big one so he can put you know turkeys or whatever and you know stuff that's on sale but he can still cook for himself but they go do the, all the shopping because getting him out anywhere is kind of a nightmare. He has a uh, little cargo van type thing that they drive, you know, if they have to go to Denver or whatever. Because every once in a while he'll have to go to a doctor down there. So, yeah my son-in-law usually takes them and it's one of those vans it's fairly good 15 people in that thing but he got it you know as a, a deal you know not my son-in-law but the guy that they take and that way he it has a ramp so they can just roll him up there and then it locks down the the uh the wheelchair and stuff but that that's the only way he gets out, you know, is if he goes that way. But And he's on property, so they go over there and shovel for him. And, and that way he can roll up and down the ramp and roll around on his property because they have, what do you call it, gravel and stuff. So they take care of him. But uh, he's the only other one that I know of that ever goes to that meat place. And some people will, uh, will order like their Christmas turkeys or their hams and stuff from them at Christmas time, but they always have a nice selection. And if you're willing to pay a little bit more, you know, for a steak or this or that, you know. So, but we haven't gone there. We might have gotten a couple of things, but it's not some place I go all the time. I know, I got another color, didn't I? What can I say? This pink is just kind of driving me over the edge, so I have to do something about it. Whoop, maybe. Oh, goodness gracious.
and it looks like it's quit snowing for a while. It's supposed to snow later on today. And of course it'll snow overnight. Yay. Fun times. I'm trying not to have any place to go. But so far so good. One to see all three of those colors together. Oop. Went right past the whole thing. So I don't know if I'll make it to the thrift store this week or not. We'll see. See, once I start, I should have started with pink. Once I get the pink done, I can tell where the reds are, see. They're so close together. This little section done. Is it just too much to ask here? There we go. So now you can see the different shades of green in there. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.